Hello, Captain. Siren, how's the pirating business? You guessed it. In fact, I'd say you've got what linguistic experts call FOGO. A firm grasp of the obvious. But I'm not just any pilot. I'm the best. And I've got the kills to prove it. Don't squeeze too hard, newbie. Someone might mistake it for sarcasm. See ya. The fleet killed a buddy of mine. This is more than a job for me. This mission will be tricky. This mission is going to require discretion on a number of fronts. Without violence. Hmm. Glad to hear it. Let's see what you got. It's amazing that all this romantic nonsense about Crix's legacy really just amounts to a rumor Jasper Crix picked up in jail. It just goes to show you how a tiny rumor can snowball into a full-blown fairy tale. Have any more? Are you kidding me? Dombrowski was already making a six-figure salary and yet he couldn't resist starting an embezzlement scheme. It makes me sick. Ah, oh, it's gonna be an absolute pleasure to throw his butt in prison. Anything else? All right. Keep up the good work. Two reasons. First, Commander Akande's playing this operation extremely close to the vest. That means keeping prisoners under his own roof until this is resolved. Second, this is an undercover mission. For our safety and yours, we need to keep these prisoners out of the spotlight. That information is classified, so even what I do know, I can't divulge. Now, I realize as part of this mission, you'll probably end up finding out anyway, but that's besides the point. For the sake of your cover, it's best you work with whatever information the fleet gives you. I know as much as you do. I wasn't briefed on this particular device. But if the fleet wants to trace the Legacy's transponder signal, they'll need something beyond the decryption tech we have currently. If such a device exists, it's likely being developed by the UC. We'll provide you with information, but any inventory or ship services, it's best you get from the fleet. It'll help you maintain your cover and also give you an idea of how the fleet's operation works. They're pirates in every sense of the word, but they've managed to get more organized under their current leadership. That makes them especially dangerous. Hopefully, it makes them a little more predictable, too. Let me know if you need anything else. Early reports say your mission on the Siren was a success. I'm sure the Commander is pleased. Wherever the Crimson Fleet go, we'll fall. <clears throat> I saw one of the Ensigns get an Alpha Centauri from Officer Petrosian the other day. Man takes his job very seriously. Cis Death Marines are the best of the best. Colony System Defense at your service. At some point, the risk isn't worth catching a few criminals. Oh, right, sir. My mistake. Just try and show a little more concern. Mo 
vent to one of the officers. I've got mob duty now on my birthday. It's gonna suck. Assistance. Read any good books lately? to be on the boat. Well, I get stuffy sometimes.
fleet protects our own, but you turn against us. All right, Jazz. What do you got? According to the latest, the comp spike is being developed at UC Star Station SY920. Location undisclosed. Fantastic. So how do we disclose it? We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jimson. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920's security. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. Definitely. We're talking cargo depots, star yards, research stations, and like in SY920's case, military outposts. I've never seen someone new to the game have so many contacts. It's the reason we let her join up in the first place. I don't know how she accomplished that. We've been trying to crack some of those places for years. You're in the fleet. You should always expect trouble. As far as Juan goes, even though she's one of our newer contacts, you shouldn't have any problems dealing with her. I sure hope so. But she might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning... There should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. We paid good money for the information, so I'm sure it works. And if it doesn't, a certain source at MAST is gonna have to deal with a very pissed off Nava. And that would be the end of that. You just bring the tech here, I'll do the rest. Oh, and one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal, because you're gonna need it. She's got the clout to get you in the front door. You're gonna think you're part of a regular supply delivery. Beyond that, you and Juan are gonna have to put your heads together and come up with a plan. Are you kidding? The UC is already painted giant red crosshairs on our backs. Keyway and his pals at Sysdef won't rest until we're dead. It's not like you can make them any angrier at us, right? Shoot the place full of holes if you want. Just bring back that calm spike. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. Oh, okay, you'll make sure. More like get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. Privileges of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. And you, get the hell out of here, and don't come back without that comm spike in your cargo bay. The Crimson Fleet made contact with her about a year ago. We were searching for a smuggling connection in UC space, and her name kept popping up repeatedly, so I decided to put her to the test. Not only did she pass, but the results were off the charts. Made us both a ton of credits. That was good enough for me. Beyond that, I don't know much about her. But hey, as long as she keeps my gal bank account humming, she can keep all the secrets she wants. I'm gonna leave that up to you, Rook. If you get into deep trouble, and you think bringing her into the fold is gonna make the difference, tell her whatever you want. 
At some point, Delgado's gonna be promising everyone their cut of Crix's legacy. If we want him to stick with the fleet, it's inevitable. But until the money's within reach, the less people that know, the better. Stay sharp, Rook. Got mixed feelings about my last job. You want to survive? My gear may not be bulletproof, but it's damn. Well, only the best tactical gear to protect your ass this side of the galaxy. Metal plated for when you're up against bullets. Leather for those jobs that might require a subtle touch. All made by yours truly, of course, except for a few used odds and ends that no one's gonna miss. <laughs> But me? Nah, not anymore. When it comes to aim, there ain't no one worse. True facts. I mean, my friends like to say I'd have better luck talking someone to death than shooting them. Yep, my talents are best suited for making protective gear. Helmets, vests, suits. You could say I'm a tailor, not a fighter. I'm sure I got something to suit your needs. What you need for the price? Well, well, neighbor's new hotshot. <laughs> I knew you'd find your way back to my little corner of the key. Everyone always does. Take a look around, genius, and don't tell me you've never laid eyes on a gun before. But just in case I need to spell it out for you, the merch I carry is known as Weapons and Ammunition. Get it? Hey, if you want to pour credits into my pocket, you won't hear any arguments from me. I carry most of the standard hardware. You know, kinetics, electromags, energy, even a few explosives. Occasionally, I stock a few... smuggled items. Basically the stuff Sistev doesn't want you to play with. Just don't screw me over or I'll be inclined to give you a free demo. With your head as the target. Not being intimidated by me is one thing. The fleet? That's another. A little advice, Sadiqi? The fleet's trust can't be bought. You earn it. You bleed for the fleet, the fleet bleeds for you. Pure and simple. Anyone who says otherwise is either lying or getting ready to stab you in the back. Don't say I never did you any favors. Take your pick. I 
bet I have something that will catch your eye. Plenty of merchandise to choose from. All right, see you around.
text. Take your neighbor's new recruit. Careful, the walls have ears. SY920 is one of my regular stops, so I already have the necessary approvals. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech. So to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that, but I have conditions. Huh. Eva warned me you were difficult. Clearly I didn't understand what she meant, but I do now. If I can be candid, for this job to work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. But make no mistake, once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative, and sacrificing it is not an option. Look, I know I don't have a lot of history with the fleet, but I'm putting my reputation and ship on the line for this. That alone should tell you enough. It's not personal. If you're caught, that entire installation will be on you. There's nothing I can do for you at that point, except send flowers to your next of kin. 
Sorry, but I work with professionals only. If you're going to start a fight, you're on your own. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. And make sure you're prepared for the long haul. Once you're on board SY920, you can't come and go as you please. Only what I've been told. Get you on the SY920, get you out if I can. That being said, I can be a better guide if I know what it is we're after. So it's up to you. Fine by me. If this goes bad, the less I know, the better. And if I do get caught, there'll be nothing to confess to. Enough to be on a first-name basis with the marines working the comps. It also helps they want us to dock. The cargo ship means supplies, special requests, slates from home. In the void of space, a cargo hauler is a soldier's best friend. I like to. But I need to keep a low profile. In my experience, the more people know about you, the more they have over you. Even more so when the cargo is contraband. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but sometimes I want to gather my creds and take a nice long vacation in the outer systems. But then I do the math, and I don't have enough creds. Hopefully, this job will change that. Anyways, I appreciate the small talk. Delgado's crew aren't usually so chatty. But let's keep our focus on the mission. We can swap bar stories and share scars when we've got enough creds to buy the bar and fix the scars. We'll talk more on the ship. Taste food is as close to home cooking as you'll find around right here. As a tracker agent, my duty is to inform and advise. Hey, you're looking at getting into bounty hunting for the Trackers Alliance? Get yourself set up with a job from one of the mission boards in town. Not everyone's cut out for this line of work, but you'll be fine and get paid as long as you follow our motto. Show no mercy, leave no quarter. I've got one I don't mind sharing with you. There was one time I had to track down one of our own. Someone I once called friend. She'd gone rogue. We have lists of our members, and their contact information kept secret for obvious reasons. This one. She had hacked into our systems and began to distribute lists to the highest bidders. You can imagine many people would kill to have this information. So I had to track her and stop her before she could make the first delivery. Let me tell you, it's not easy to hunt someone who knows all your tactics and techniques. But I found her, and when I did, I silence stuff for good. We are, quite simply, an alliance of bounty hunters. Some of us share resources, some of us go it alone. But the organisation makes it easier for us to do our jobs and legitimises our work, so that rather than being paid vigilantes, we are part of the system. Various people approach the alliance looking for those living on the land. We use our unique skills to find and deal with them. I can, and I will. But know this, bounty hunting can be difficult work, so make sure you're prepared before you set out. If you think you have what it takes, then you can find Trackers Alliance jobs listed on mission boards, with payment delivered upon completion. I'll point you in the right direction, but after that, you're on your own. Follow the motto, and you'll be fine. Show no mercy, leave no quarter. Goodbye. I used to be an actuary. Now well, look at me. Saw your ship coming. Hmm? 
Jake's is a good place to meet contacts. It's got the right amount of booze and the right amount of schmuck. I help out Henry from time to time. Don't mind me. Stay out of trouble. Yes, what? <clears throat> Juan's crew wasn't always a ship crew. We used to be more of a gang. All this came later. Nobody could stop the Crimson Fleet. Excuse me. Howdy.
Hey. All right. A few things to note. When we get to the checkpoint, UC military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Return your piece of cargo if you have to. That will serve you well here. Some people mistake silence for weakness or, at worst, compliance. But to me, it's the loud ones who leave themselves vulnerable. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, go for it. Hello. All right, then get comfortable. We leave for SY920 immediately. All crew prepare for takeoff. Routing power to engine and grab drive. All systems go. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. I can handle a little banter. Sounds like you're putting in a request for double duty. Captain, I retract my earlier statement. For the record, I don't even like gum. <laughs> Noted. Just get us there safe. Roger that. First things first, the station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform, and to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But, if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. Only military personnel are allowed out of the cargo area. That's why we need to get you to the barracks to find you a uniform. This is a star station, so there are plenty of ventilation ducts you can slither into. As far as tactics go, it's an oldie, but goody. Provided you haven't sounded the alarm, then yeah, like I said, if you can find an intercom, I'll keep a channel open. Very funny. But if you do get into trouble, try and use that quick wit to your advantage. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Pardon. 